Second answer, adjust your perspective. When you look at the verse 2, the second verse here, Jesus answered, Do you think that these Galileans were worse sinners than all the other Galileans because they suffered this way? In other words, you guys are looking at it this way. You think that these Galileans are really wicked people. That's why they got killed in the temple worshiping. Jesus says, I tell you, no. But unless you repent, unless you adjust your view, you too will perish. So here we're seeing Jesus is saying, reframe the question based on an altered or an adjusted perspective. In other words, guys... You keep looking back at what happened to try to find answers. These guys, they got killed in the temple because they were wicked. Jesus says, unless you repent, turn, you too will perish. So in other words, he's saying, the answer is not found back there or looking backward. The answer is found looking forward. He's saying, rather, the question should be, what should I do now? I'm not suggesting we shouldn't try to figure out the structural defects in the tower that fell and why it fell from a structural engineering aspect. Yes, we need to go and do our research. But from a philosophical, theological perspective, we can't get stuck in the past. That's some of you right now. You're stuck in the past as to why that happened, why that car accident, why that divorce, why the children did not, uh, didn't, didn't like you, why this, why that, why that firing, why that termination. And you're stuck back there. And if you don't process this question, which is a very important question, that is, where's God when it hurts? If you don't process it properly, you can get bitter, you can get angry, you can become difficult to live with, you can shut down emotionally, you can formulate all kinds of psychological and philosophical constructs to try to Hope with that, such as even what Nietzsche says, that life is all just bizarre. Is the German philosopher that came up with the thought, God is dead. I want you to see that that kind of thinking is a result of getting stuck back there. Rather than Jesus saying to us, the real question should be, how, what should I do now? The famed African-American scientist, Dr. George Washington Carver, he was telling farmers in his state of Alabama that, guys, you can't keep planting cotton every year because what you're doing is depleting the soil of nutrients and you're making then the cotton susceptible to the boll weevil. Insects that'll just eat it away. Some farmers heeded the scientist's response or scientist's uh, opinion perspective because what he said to them is that what you need to do is plant sweet potato or peanuts that the soil will be replenished of its nutrients and boll weevil doesn't attack those plants, peanuts, sweet potato. Some farmers say, ah, you don't know what you're talking about. They've kept on planting their cotton. Boll weevil came through Alabama, wiped out all their crops. Some farmers listened, planted sweet potato and peanuts. And they experienced a bumper harvest. And what Dr. Carver didn't didn't figure out before he gave that counsel was the financial impact of the vast amount of peanuts on the market. So a lot of farmers were about to lose their shirts because the cost of peanuts was being sold for peanuts. <laughs> and so Carver is, is, is dumbfounded by the pain that he caused. His counsel was good on one end, but poor on the other. And so he retreats to his laboratory, and there he cried out to God for wisdom. And in his laboratory, he came up with 300 derivatives for peanuts. I want you to see, when he changes perspective, rather than looking back, Look at all the pain, look at all the farmers going to lose their farms, lose their livelihood, lose that. What should I do now? Here comes these answers. The famed Jewish therapist, psychiatrist, Dr. Eli Weissel, was approached by this grieving widower. He was so heartbroken. His wife had passed away, been married for decades. Dr. Weissel asked him the question. The husband was so distraught, he said, Dr. Weissel said, what would have happened if you died first and your wife lived? The widower said, that would be the most difficult situation for my wife. She, it would be unbearable for her. 
The therapist then said, Isn't it, is it not a reflection of God's grace for her to have passed on first rather than you? And with that question came an adjusted perspective by the widower. He left the office smiling because he stopped looking backwards. Why would my wife die so early? And he started looking forward. What should I do now? Answer number two to the question, where's God when it hurts? Adjust your perspective. Ask a different question. What should I do now? <laughs> 